Hello, my name is Damon Pye, and this is Hearthstone, or Hearthstone, either works. So, this is my first video on Hearthstone, and I thought I'd start out by keep, keeping it simple, and just doing, showing off some of the cards I have, just so you know what cards I'll be using, and probably start doing some constructed. Um, I think I'm going to... Well, first, let, let me just show you what cards I have. I'll quickly show you. I'll go through. So I've got most of the druids, uh, most of the hunters, well, hang on. Most of the druids, most of the hunters except for Flare, about half of the mage cards, most of the paladin cards. I play mostly... Paladin is my you know main, main class I play, so I tend to have most, most of those cards. About half, I've got all the priest cards, but only one of each. About half of the rogue cards, almost none of the shaman cards. Um, maybe half, maybe a third of the warlock cards. About half of the warrior cards. And, uh, you know, most, most of the neutral rares. Most of the ones that are important anyway. Um, so yeah, um, if we go into epics, oops, epic, uh, I don't have too many, uh, let me sh go to crafting mode, so yeah, I don't have, I have, you know, I've, again, I have a lot of paladin cards, so I have all the paladin cards I really need, I mean, I wouldn't mind having another Avenging Wrath, but I can do with one, the, you know, these are all really good cards to have for, um, Sorry for um for that for playing Paladin. Um not too much of that. Not too much of that. No shaman cards. Don't think any warlock cards, nope. Um I have a decent amount of warrior cards, but I don't play too much warrior anymore, but um you know, Gohau is just a really awesome card to have anyway, so Shield Slam is really cool too. I wouldn't mind having an extra brawl. Um and then I think I only have one one neutral yeah. Well I've got two big game hunters and I didn't make these. I got them just like in, in um, packs, but you know, I'm really glad I got them because they're such, you know, they're definitely one of the best epics you can get. Um, neutral epics you can get, definitely. So, um, okay, so finally, legendary, I have Tyrion, which is really good. And I, I again, he was from a pack, um, and you know, he's just, you know, one of the, definitely one of the best uh, class legendaries. Maybe Drax, this is the only one that comes close. Um, yeah, I was really lucky to get him. Um, and I have Blood of Bates Thomas, which is another really good card. Legendary, he's, um, you know, he's good in any deck, really. Any deck where you need spell damage, he's good. Because, just because he's so low, you can throw him out there. Um, and also play at spell. Uh, and you get a card draw from him, too. So, alright, so what I thought I'd do is not. I'm gonna go through and just you know each one of these videos. I'm gonna go and just make what I think is the best, or well, one of the best um, class um, decks that I can for each class. So I'm just gonna start from the beginning. I'm just gonna delete a bunch of all of these, and I'm gonna start. I think I'll, I'll, I won't start with Paladin because I know Paladin's gonna be great. Um, I'll start with something mill the road. I think I'll probably start with the Hunter Warlock. I think I'll start with the Warlock. I've, you know, well, I have decent Warlock. So let's get rid of all these. There we go. So, let's just start completely fresh. Alright, let's go with Warlock. So I think that's good. All right, so let's call this Agro Warlock. I don't know why I call him that because that's not what it is. Let's call it Big Guns Warlock. Yeah. All right, Big Guns Warlock. All right, and let's take it for a spin. So you may notice that I'm only 
rank 24 currently in Hearthstone. The reason for that is that it's not because I'm, you know, stuck at 24 and haven't won anything. You have to take my word for that, but it's... I just don't really see the, um, any reason to play ranked at the moment. Because there's no rewards for it. There's supposed to be some sort of rewards added in later, at a later date. Um, card packs? I wish I'm, I'm... This is what I've heard. I'm not sure exactly what that means, because... From what I understand, it means the backs of cards, but... You don't really see the backs of cards in Hearthstone, so... So I don't know about that. But anyway, no, I have gotten pretty low before. I've gotten down to rank 16. Which is, you know, it's decent when I'm not actually trying. I think I could probably get to rank 10-ish if I really put in the effort. But, you know, I haven't. I don't really, you know, have the cards yet for that, maybe. Well, I, you know, having said that, there's a lot of people who have no legendaries whatsoever who have got the legend rank. So it's definitely that skill. But anyway, anyway. Let's play some Warlock and let's play some Rage. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. It's 24. We'll see how far down I can actually get. So let's go. And we'll see if I end up completely failing. Which would be nice. It would be great. And I you know I've made decks like this before and they've worked alright. I've won games at least. So here's the lag you generally get. FPS just goes down to zero. When you when it finds someone. But okay, here we go. Hello again to the warlock. This will be fun. Probably be a murloc. I bet it's a murloc. I think we'll keep the shadow bolt just so we can take things out with it. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We want two drops and three. We don't have any two drops or three drops. Why did I get rid of those? Okay, that's fine too. Oh, we wanted removal. Well, I got rid of my removal, didn't I? Did I? Let's see how this goes. So we'll be life tapping next turn. Let's just see what he drops. Is he going to drop something? He's looking at it. He's got a coin. That's the coin right there. Nope, nothing. So we have a life chat. Do you know what I forgot to put in this deck? It is Twilight Drakes. Twilight Drakes is really good in this deck. I, I think after this match, after I lose this match, I'm going to put those in. Just because I'm going to have so many cards I'm not going to play. Let's see what he does. Is he going to heal himself? Let's hope for more Quarm. And we have a Murloc, so this is definitely a Murloc deck, so this is going to be super useful in several minutes. Still nothing, I have nothing on that board yet, I want to Shadow Bolt, so let's look again, no more coil, let's stop. Okay, yeah, see this is why Trollet Drake would be so useful in this situation, because I don't know if I can actually have something to play. I'm not sure I'd take out for that, maybe the Feng Freaker? Um, okay, let's see what he does. He doesn't have any more Murlocs. I mean, is this a rare? Is he a gun? No, it's just a regular thing. So does he have Murlocs? Or is he just really... Uh, he's playing some really low... Some not the best cards. Oh, a summoning portal that he can really easily kill. I think we can... Should I risk taking that out? I think... Let's... Let's take that out. That takes out... Four damage, um, or more. Four damage or more. So, we must cleanse the sun well. Okay. Still no more Murlocs. Hellfire? No Hellfire. But now we can start playing things. So that is me. Sort of useful next turn. This traitor everything on this board. This traitor is on the board and kill something on this board. Hopefully that. I think we'll probably be playing Kodo. Like if that's I think Kodo. That's not great. That's alright. No. 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 So let's play Kodo. Come on. Nope. Oh well, it's still good. I treats well with both of these things. Um well, we just have a Shadow Bolt. Next turn. That's nice. Um, mortal coil on the thing that you could already kill. Okay, this is going to be really sad when I die to someone who's really bad. 
Maybe he didn't know what it did and hoped it gave him a coin. We've got no mana. You no, know, I hope it gave him a, gave him a card. I guess. Okay. What am I going to do? What options do I have? Taunt would probably be good in this situation. Taunt and take out the thing that can get rid of the taunt. I think that's good. Or we could play a Venture Mercenary. But he can just avoid and it's going to make everything cost way too much. I think we taunt. And let's take out that just in case he does happen to have no loss. He could kill this, he could kill this either way, so. Is he going to shut a bolt? Yes, it's still dead either way. Is he going to trade it for this? Is he going to life tap? Is he going to... I mean, if he, I would probably trade it for this so he gets, at least stays alive. Um, what am I going to do next turn? Inferno is not very useful, doesn't take anything out. Vegeta Mercenary is useful, just for a big guy. Take that out, and then take my other guy out, or attack me in the face. Attack me in the face. Okay, Dread and Frail is still not useful. Um, let's see, more... okay, so I'm super low. I think I need to Dragonfall to take that out, and then we start playing some big guys. So what's the biggest guy we can play right now? 7-6. Or we could just try to fill up the board. I don't want to really, I want to be careful by tapping, so I definitely want to use this. And then maybe that. It's not the card I want to be able to pick up. And then this, just so I have something that he can't really take out, because the nice thing about this guy is that one of them will hopefully stay alive and be able to trade. Um, next turn I can, well the turn after, okay there's a hellfire, is it going to multi call it? Are you going to mortal coil it? Yeah, this no, oh, this deck isn't great. Yeah, I will admit that. An extra hellfire. That was a bit of overkill, but I am very low now. So I can play still only play one thing, unless I do this. Let's do that, and let's play this. Okay, now I just need to get as many big guys on the, on the board and hope I can kill him we must the before he can well. kill me. I'm going to have to be killing it all of his stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, I just don't have enough taunts. I don't, I'm not feeling too... Okay, I can kill it. With this. And a model coil and this. So what I and I have to, I think. This is too easy for him to, to take out. So let's That's really helpful because now I can kill this. And I have a lot of stuff on the board. But he still, I still need to be taking out all of his stuff, so. I'm still getting really low. Uncomfortably so. But, you know, that happened with Warlock, we'll see. Ow. Ow. That hurt. Okay, I can't, we'll see how, where this goes. I need to... Yes, the problem now is that I have to be counteracting every single thing that he's playing. That would be helpful if this was one less life. Um, I can now fill the board with an absolute butt ton of stuff. So, you know, so let's see if I can kill him in that time. 
Attend me. Ready, sir. Now I see to survive a soul fire. And is he dead next turn? Ten... Yeah, he's dead next turn, unless he can kill me. <laughs> he might be able to kill me, let's see, come on. No soul fire, 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 no soul fire. No taunt. No, okay, you are dead, my friend. Whoa, see, this deck, why this deck work? I guess. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to, but... Oh, that was definitely too close to comfort, but I guess that, that's the thing with this deck, I, as it's happened before, you will get very low before you can pull something off with... I mean, it's the sending portals that really help, and if they can get rid of those, then you're screwed, but... Well, that worked. Okay, well, that went better than expected, let's, um... I still want to fix this deck more. I need to put in some... I can't have all just four drops. I need... Chronic Drakes. So what am I going to take out? What am I going to take out? What is a good idea to take out? Maybe a Dread Infernal? This, I need that board player. I need that extra removal as a thing. Stampeding Kodo, Stranglethorn Tiger, Silverhand Knight. <sighs> what am I going to take out? Molecrow, I need Molecrow in the early game. Power Overwhelming. I could keep a Power Overwhelming in there, maybe one Power Overwhelming, just, just in case. Okay, drain life, even more removal, Shabot, more removal, and it also helps keep me slightly higher up in life, health virus, useful, um, something called uh, Abomination, yeah, Abomination's really good because it, you know, it just trades even, like, look at this, see if there's a 6-6 six, six in the board, it has to, it will die to that unless it can be silenced, it will also clear the rest of the enemy's board, so, it's just extra AoE. Um, Azure Drake, need that, Fern Creeper. Taunt's good. Taunt is very good. Silverhand Knight. I don't know about Silverhand Knight. Yeah, sure, it means it's more survival to direct removal, but it's also, in a lot of ways, it's also more susceptible to it, because it, there's so many 4 damage things out there, and 2 damage things out there. There's not so many 6 damage things, so I maybe take at least one of those out, and put 2 Twilight in. There are other four drops I could be using, I think. Uh, silence and Sengen. I don't want to give up too many of my high drops though. I don't really need, I don't need card draw in this deck because I just I'm so late game. But anyway, uh, yeah, that, um, that looks, looks decent. So yeah, that is the Warlock deck done. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy this video and that you enjoy any more that come out. So I will see you around.